Paul Pedersen with KSAT Satellites uh, here at the Norway Standard IAC 2024. Thank you for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Welcome. It's uh, nice to be here at IAC again every year since 2009, I think. Wow, plenty. Well, we're at the 75th one, so yeah. I hope you haven't been to all <laughs> no, of them. No. Um, and look, last time we saw each other was in Sydney uh, as well, and we're going to be welcoming you to the Indo-Pacific Space and Earth Conference and Exhibition in Perth next month, so it's great to have you joining us for that. Yes. How are you finding IAC 2024? And again, at the Norway stand, uh, representing your country here? Yeah, so we are together with all the uh, Norwegian companies uh, working in and with space. Uh, KSAT being the biggest actor, we have uh, 400 people working globally, including Australia. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to bring the uh, contacts that we find here and also to discuss that when I come to Perth next month. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, maybe introduce us to KSAT, uh, your Earth observation focused. Earth observation, but the biggest part of KSAT is ground stations, where we have 300 antennas spread over 29 locations globally. Wow. Uh, so we have a, a very busy team installing antennas around the world, and we have in in Western Australia we have a few four antennas. Yes. We will put up our big lunar antenna, and we have also presence in South Australia outside of Adelaide. So we are very much involved in the Australian space economy uh, also. And with the Earth Observation, we monitor oceans and land, uh, mostly maritime, uh, right. for oil spills, pollution, methane. Um, and we survive because we utilize uh, the 300 antennas to bring data down and information to the end users as quickly as possible. And 300, is that still expanding or is it a matter of upgrading and getting them uh, sort of with the latest, latest technology and latest systems or do you find that the footprint is still expanding? To a certain degree, yes, but uh, given that we are on almost 30 locations, yeah. we have uh, co co <laughs> covered the, the better part of, yeah. of the world. But uh, the biggest one on Svalbard is 150 antenna, and Svalbard is made uh, for uh, LEO satellites. It's yeah. a perfect location for that, coupled with um, our Antarctic station, uh, and then we add uh, 27 in between. Wonderful. Well, look, as I said, we keep crossing paths uh, in Australia, and I can understand why. And also, with four uh, ground stations in Western Australia, it's great to be welcoming you to Perth next month for IPSEC and APRSAF. Uh, but thank you also. We'll, we, you'll be at the exhibition floor as well. I will. Yeah, and so this is a, a, an official uh, sponsor lead-up interview for the Indo-Pacific Space and Earth Conference 2024. But also, uh, Bor, enjoy, enjoy the rest of... IAC uh, here in Milan. Thank you, I will.